In November of 1866, Jane Page of Madison County wrote to her son John and daughter-in-law Frances in California for the first time since the beginning of the Civil War. In her letter, she mentions the three major battles which took place in the Ozarks, Oak Hills, better known as Wilson's Creek, Elkhorn, or Pea Ridge, and Prairie Grove. More importantly, however, she provides a vivid description of the brutal guerrilla fighting which characterized the Civil War in Northwest Arkansas. The area had been greatly divided over the question of secession, setting the stage for the lawless and lethal activity of bushwhackers. Jane Page's personal tragedies reflect the great suffering experienced by many residents of the region, regardless of their allegiance. However, in both the opening and close of her letter, we find the determination and hopefulness that others in the area shared, allowing Northwest Arkansas to make a strong and quick recovery from this dreadful conflict. Dear son and daughter, I embrace the present opportunity of writing you a letter to let you know that I'm still in the land of the living and enjoying very good health. And I do hope these few lines may reach you and find you all enjoying the same great blessing. I have a heap to write to you, more I fear than I shall think of. I have sorrowful news to communicate. Your father fell a victim in time of the great war. He was killed by the federal forces on the fourth day of March, 1865. He was at Sam's house on the mountain where he lived when you left. When the federals charged up, it frightened the old man and he tried to make his escape by running. They charged after him and shot him from the back of the neck down to the waist. He had nine or 10 balls passed through his body. So scared and disturbed was everybody that I had to stay with him in the woods all day by myself with my apron spread over his face. We got a little help to bury him. We buried him in the background of Sam's orchard. We had to bury him without any coffin. I now attempt to tell you something about the war in our country as follows. In the year of 61, they began calling for volunteers here. They made up a company of Confederate soldiers here in this settlement. They went out and served a while in the war and then returned home. They were engaged in the Oak Hill battle where they proved victorious, drove the Yankees off the field. The Southern soldiers then moved out of Missouri and left it to the Yankees. Shortly after, they came down in large numbers again. Generals McCullough and Price met and encountered them at Elkhorn in Benton County, Arkansas, in dreadful conflict. The Federals proved victorious and General McCullough was killed. The Federals then mustered all their forces and encountered General Hindman and his array of conscripts at Prairie Grove near Fayetteville and whipped him, drove him across the Arkansas River. Shortly after this battle, the Yankees came to King's River and commenced their dreadful slaughter of men and horse stealing. Then there was raised in our settlement independent companies of lawless bands who went about over the country stealing and robbing every lady without distinction. And then after they got everything in our country, they turned in and burnt our houses, turned widows and orphans out in the cold winter's snow. They entirely robbed me out. Never left me nary a single horse, nor nothing that was worth anything. They never left nary a house in the beautiful little town of Kingston. They nearly burnt up Huntsville, too. It would have been destroyed if it had not been headquarters for the thieves that Madison County turned out. This is a faint description of the great war in our country to restore the Constitution and put down the rebellion. They have put down the rebellion, but have they restored the Constitution? You may say, I will not. I will now try to tell you of all the deaths in your acquaintance. They killed Grant and Edgman and three of his sons, Samuel, Abner, and Squire. They killed John Grimes and old Mr. McRonalds that lived near Huntsville. They killed Tony Logan, one of the old man Logan's sons. 
They killed John A. Hawkins and a great many others you do not know. Oh, I cannot think of them all to save my life. The war has entirely ruined our country, but I think it will build up again in the course of time. The people seem to be in good spirits and are trying to rebuild. If you want to come back to this country to live, you can buy land very cheap here now. It is very low in consequence of the scarcity of money. Everything is very scarce here, and times is hard, hard, very hard. For the want of room, I must quit. You must write to me as soon as you get this letter. Write without fail. Give me all the news of every kind in your country. So, no more at this time, but remains your affectionate mother until death.